Hola mi gente, <laughs> Betcha with me, my first November paycheck. <laughs> this is my second time filming this. The first one didn't actually press record. <laughs> I already implemented the numbers, but I can go over the data again. So this is my first November paycheck. I get paid every Thursday and budget only for the 14 days of bills due. I would do a monthly overview, which is what I'm seeing right now, and I use a highlighter to dispose which bills will fall within this time period. I will get paid on the 10th to the 23rd. I implement the data into the budget by paycheck templates. I add my income and have my payments from a mortgage, car, utilities, and credit cards. And I add that up and see how much I have left over in the budget, and I do that. I used to do the uh, cash envelopes for my groceries, gas, pets, family, and oh shit, along with my toiletry. And I would deduct the remaining for my interest investing and for my savings, which is set up automatically to deduct from my direct deposit. Moving forward, this is for my first check of November 2nd. So going forward, my husband, will get paid 364 and I will get paid 1848 and this is allocating between the 18th and the 23rd. I do make a mini a mini a budget with my husband's pay period because he gets paid every Thursday and <clears throat> this time I'm doing it a bit backwards. I'm going to start with my extra savings for my long-term savings. It's going to be I'm only going to do that $300. In my 403B, I get, I'm, I got uh, 100, 101.22, uh, which is the, the deducted pre-tax, so I will not include that. So starting with the 200, I'm sorry, 2,212, I have left over 1913 from the $300 for my long-term savings. Moving forward to my sinking funds, I have my yearly subscriptions, $40. I'm actually putting in there for my end of year, which is all $40. Back to school, birthdays, and vacations, and that would be adding up to $200. So when I deduct 1942 minus 200, I have left over in my budget 1712. Moving forward to my envelope system, gas is going to get 90. Groceries is going to get $250. My pets is $30. Toiletries is $20. Family time is $20. And husband will be getting $100. i am sorry, husband will get $30. Um, and my oh shit, I have $155. If you go to my last video, which is called Unstuff With Me, and have $155. Even though we had to do an unaccounted uh, oil change for my car and my husband's car. So that has $144 minus the $1722. And I have $1,272. And for my bills, for my car, it's half a payment. And that is $349.61. My second car is half a payment and it's $237.95. My cell phone gets paid on the 11th, which is $129.49. I'm sorry, $129.40. My Sapphire already got paid, so I'm gonna get included in this budget. My Spotify on the 19th is $731. My trash and water is $20 on the 20th, and I'm gonna pay $180. This is my main main um, bill that I want to get caught up on. If you saw my About Me, and if you saw my first budget with me, I was falling behind on my payments for my, even my uh, bills, my utility bills. And this is the reason why I started this channel, so I can have accountability. And I am proud to say that I think this is the last bill that we have not cut up on. And I have not been paid in like three or four months. So this is the main one that I'm going to pay as soon as I get off this, this video. <laughs> The internet gets paid on the 21st and it's going to be $9.95. Netflix will, is due on the, 20 till, on the 22nd and that is $21.64. I do have two birthdays on the 15th and I'm going to allocate $40 for that one. 
and I do have my big Mama Drama City card, which is due on the 17th, and that's going to be form 74. But if I'm not mistaken, I only need a hundred and eighty dollars because I have at least more more than half in my savings account for this because I've been saving it uh, throughout the week. So all this us up to fourteen fifty two, which should be negative four one hundred and seventy nine. This is including the one hundred and seventy four. If I'm doing my math right and if I play my parts right, I should have a buffer of $200 at the end of the pay period without adding my husband's paycheck for um, next Thursday. I hope this makes sense. Also, before I finish, I want to ask you, I've been looking for the budget moms because this is her system. And I usually buy my book, or I bought this book in October, but I haven't seen any um, posts on her account about pay that she's gonna sell them this year, the actual books. She does have like a PDF. I don't know how I feel about it. Yes, I will still stick to it because it my goals, it's my goals, but I feel like I'm more of a paper and pencil type of person and budgeter. So, but let me know how that goes. Um, if you heard, if she's going to be selling it later on the year, or maybe new year, but hopefully, because I don't want to pay, just let me know if she is or she won't. Because I, I do, if not, I can just pay for the PDF, which is like, it's under $30. I think it's either 27 or 25 But yes. <laughs> so, I need to go run to the bank. I do have my little tally, which is, my, I'm only gonna get hopefully 50, 20, 10, and five. Should be 440. As always, uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave all your comments, share. <laughs> I'm trying to grow my channel, trying to grow my views, my subscriptions. I do want to uh, grow my channel because I want other people to know that it is scary to be uncertain when you're going to be able to pay your bills, like your light bill, your water bill. Uh, but once you stick to it and implement a system that works for you and your family or just you if you're alone, that it won't take this much time, like or as much time as you think. I think I've been doing it for three or four months. I think I started at the end of August, if I'm not mistaken. So here we are at the beginning of November. I just want people to know that they can do this. I want you to know that low budget you mean nothing because you're going to do your budget based on what you value and what is worth to you. Maybe subscriptions and back to school and vacations are not something for you, but uh, coffee, it is for you. I make my coffee my coffee at home and I'm okay with that but maybe you do value going to a coffee shop and that is your daily get out of home system and if that works for you and your mental health then by all means add it to your budget uh, but I just want you to know that if you are in my situation at the beginning of October in September that you don't that struggling is not a bad thing if you just learn to pivot and you just move forward from there and if this is your story best of luck to you leave comments and then maybe we can implement i can give you tips i can give you the basics of how to do a budget i do this budget not just to be restrictive but just to have an accountability of what's coming in what's going out and to remind myself that i can do this i can um I am worthy of being debt free and capable and worthy of not having to stay up at night wondering where, where the money is going to come from because I am worthy of having a full night's sleep. <laughs> so as always, leave your comments, please share, subscribe, and let me know about the budget mom. Thank you for everything.